the Fat Wallet Show this week, the Fat Wallet Price Weighted Index. Hurrah! Hi, I'm Christian, and I'm very excited. Which means that if you fall within a certain price range, you may be in our index if your share falls within a certain price range. Yes, correct. So, and, and we're going to just basically, and I, I've cheated a bit um, in that I have gone off and uh, uh, found some. So I went and looked. You wanted forty shares in there. Um, so what I did was I went to to my my broker who I can do. They have a, a share filter, so I can filter on different criteria: dividends, ROEs, blah 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 blah. I can also filter on last closing price. And if I say I want last closing price of above eighty and last closing price below 250. In other words, all shares that closed on Wednesday 7 August uh, between 80 and 250 Rand, and I filter it, um, and I'm saying that's what I want. And I then get a list of 59 stocks. Well, Whoa. no, no, no. I get a list of 59 entries. However, right. they are <laughs> some of these are commodity ETFs. We've got palladium, platinum, gold, etc. in here as well. You didn't want those, so those get binned out the window. Some of these. Oh, just so you guys know, this is there's no reason for it. I just said let's do. Single, you just said no. Let's do single shares. There's yeah. not a good reason. Um, to do it you know the the S and P five hundred is in here as well, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So so those we all want out the window, um, and then there are some preference shares and debt instruments lurking in here as well, and for no good reason except you're the boss, you didn't want those either. So by my expectation, if I take these fifty nine and then we delete out everything that we don't like, we end up with exactly forty shares priced between eighty and two hundred and fifty z. Okay, so that's our range. Yeah. For those of you who are a little bit clued up about what's going on in the stock market, you know already that there are some shares in here that you love probably that won't be in this index. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because because we selected that price range. Yeah. So where's Naspash at the moment? Uh, Naspash is 3,000 and change. So obviously that's not between the 80 and 250 rand mark. And so Naspash is out. Yeah. So the, the idea here, the reason why I'm so excited about this uh, methodology is is the idea here is is to it strips out all of those outliers so it mm -hmm. strips out the nice patches but it also strips out like the stein offs yes. by itself so you kind of like right there in the middle and i'm i'm curious to see whether being right there in the middle would have the same kind of would would mirror the movement of the index as a whole when you strip out the, the yeah, outliers. That's a, that's, a, that's a good point because 59 is what comes up. It's 40 stocks out of a market of about 350 or 400. So we end with 10%. NASPAS not, not being in is also interesting because in the Dow Jones, for example, uh, Google's not there because it's just too expensive. So the, the, you know, us spinning NASPAS is not, uh, you know, we're just following a, a good tradition. I mean, we could argue that it's a crazy tradition, but we are following it. But I'm just I'm curious to see uh, what the correlation is because I, like this is also when we talk about investing in the JSE mm -hmm. and especially when we talk about broad market ETFs like the Satrix 40. Mm -hmm. The big criticism that we often get is that Nasbat. What about Nasbat? What about Nasbat? And I'm curious to see actually what impact that share has on on the the movement overall. Because surely it, do, it, it must have, right? Because it's so expensive and it's so big. So yeah. If it moves a little, the whole market moves a lot. But uh, like, I'm just curious to see if you strip it out, what yeah. would happen. And I'm going to use the close from Wednesday evening. I've got a delayed price here, but I'm going to delete that out of the equation as well. So it really is, we come out with exactly 40 shares. So we are recording this process. Yes, this, um, in other words, the screen. Yeah, so yes. we're recording the screen. We're going to put this as a little, embed this as a video on uh, the post in justonelap.com so that you guys can go and see actually just how Simon filtered for those companies, how he dropped in the prices, you know, how he's putting everything in there. Yeah. Um, and already, oh, I was going to say, that, oh, no, f that's a preference. Oh, or is it? INLP. No, no, no. Stock code. Hold on. I need to double check something here. <laughs> I don't know what INLP is. I thought it was something nice. Um, I N. L, come on, it's their preference. Oh, no, we get 39 shares. Oh, that's okay. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
because otherwise, yeah, otherwise I don't know what. <laughs> um, and so that we then put okay, the so code in there. Okay, so what we have at the moment is the name of the company that is included. Mm-hmm. We're going to go through the list now. Mm-hmm. The We're sh- already making money. <laughs> We haven't even done anything yet. Uh, we've got the stock code. So that's what you would go search if you had to buy these shares individually. And then we've got last night's uh, closing price of the share. Mm-hmm. And you are now putting in the live price. Yep. And then what I then do is give the move uh, percentage. I actually don't need that percentage to move because what I then do is I then add up the, all these prices. And I basically do a sum. Uh, where's my sum? Where's then, my yeah. sum? Uh, oh, my sum is behind that screen there. There's my sum. Um, I say sum. And I want sum from there to there. Mm-hmm. Boom. There's my sum. Now, I know why it's not summing. Because when I cut and pasted, it gave me spaces. So, but basically you're adding together all of the prices and then we're going to divide them by the, the number of shares. Yeah. And that's going to give us the average of the, yeah. of the index. So what's, what's cool about this is when you, uh, what's cool about a price weighted index is when you do an index um, in, oh, now I've lost my train of thought because I'm watching what you're doing. <laughs> Hang on. Stop oh, watching. right, right, right. So um, when you do an index by market cap weighting, you mm-hmm. include like a certain number or you include a certain percentage of that share depending on its market cap. So what's cool about a price weighted index versus a market capitalization weighted index is with a market cap index, um, you would allocate a percentage to companies that are bigger. So the bigger a company is the bigger its percentage in the in the index. Mm-hmm. In a price weighted index, the price does that for you. So that that functionality is built in because a company with a really big share price that moves a little will have a bigger impact than a company with a really tiny share price that moves a lot. Um, so that's really cool. It's a, a super simple way of doing things. And for you guys listening at home, if you're wondering how you could apply this uh, to your everyday life, because I know it seems like we're doing something insane that doesn't really apply to you. If you're an ETF investor, you can do this with your ETFs. You can make a little price-weighted ETF index of all the ETFs that you hold at the average price that, where you bought them and then get a sense of uh, how your, your whole portfolio is doing. Yes. Which I think is super interesting. And yeah. that is why I was so excited about this. <laughs> So what are you doing now? Where are you getting these prices? So I pulled them in from Google Finance in a delayed price. Um, and then I've got to go and I'm trying to ma- do this manually, sorry, automatically, but it's not working. So that's, uh, we got today because the top one uh, was 112.02 and now it's 115.62. And what we do, we and, and I will just for, for, for interest sake give the move per share, but what I've done down at the bottom is I've got a total for our index, which is 540, 50, 50, 5,497 rand and 82 cents. And then we will work out what the new price is as things move. And that will then give us a percentage move. That's awesome. So if you, so are, if you are an 80 rand share, we have AVI, for example, is an 85 rand share. Um, and oh, ah, Aspen's in there twice. You're down to 38. No, that's okay. <laughs> You're very, very so, chilled about it. It's like, yeah, I just want it's this the to bubbles, be isn't it? <laughs> I just want, yeah, this might be the cough syrup, actually. Um, oh, and Clix is in there twice. Mm. Oh, we are losing stocks. Oh. Well, isn't it good that we started? Imagine if we didn't start with um, and then, and then, so for example, the example there was AVI as an 85 rand share. Cash board is a 248 rand share. So cash board's got almost three times the weight in the index on AVI. So what is going to happen when cash build pops out of this price range? Uh, so we've got to define the rules. I mean, we could just say, hey, no worries. Or we could say, oh, the world has ended and we delete it. Should we maybe do a, like, like a big boy index, um, a quarterly reweighting? We can. Or uh, maybe I mean, my worry with, with quarterly, the quarterly or something is it just sounds like hard work. <laughs> To be perfectly honest. Well, I have to say, this didn't seem like it was ex- especially onerous. 
No, no, not at this point in the equation. Yeah, we've got Wilson Bailey. I mean, we've got wildly random stocks coming in here. Okay, so let's let's talk about these shares as you're going uh, uh, through them. So, so you've done Hudeco so far. Yeah, What's got, that? Uh, Hudeco is an industrial engineering company. City Lodges, hotels, cash build is, is your little uh, uh, place where you buy your compost and your bricks. Wilson Bailey make roads. Astral makes chicken. HCI is a holding company who owns ETV. TV, they own some oil gas licenses and the like. I love that you say that Astral makes chickens. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, JS, sorry, famous brands, they make burgers and pizzas and stuff. We've got the JSC, they make... Uh, this. Uh, they make this. <laughs> they make it possible for us to draw this data. we got ACI, uh, AECI rather, who make explosives and stuff. Wow, uh, Pioneer, what a mixed bag. You know, Pioneer Food Group, who are about to get bought out by PepsiCo at 110. They make bread and the like. Uh, Barlow World make caterpillars in Iberia. Um, Distel makes. When did Distel become DGH? Uh, Distel makes liquor. Uh, AVI makes biscuits and shoes and fish fingers. Uh, Liberty makes uh, overpriced uh, insurance and investment products. <laughs> Spa. <laughs> they also make bad financial advisors, well, in case you're wondering. Spa makes, well, Spa, Spa. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting, Spa is franchised, so it's very different to the other type of retailers um, who are not franchised. So I'm seeing so far lots of consumer goods here. Yeah, African Rainbow Minerals uh, owns half of a um, iron ore mine. Uh, the Fashini Group is the Fashini Group. Mm. Uh, Aspen make uh, generic yes. drugs. Um, no longer milk formula. Uh, Tiger Brands makes Listeriosis and, and other oats. products. I hope no lawyers are listening. <laughs> uh, Telcom. Well, if there are lawyers listening, we hope we're on, they're on our side. Telcom is selling their copper. If you need some copper, they've got a lot of copper for you. Mr. Price, we get that. They sell clothes. <laughs> they're from Durban. We love them. PSG is a holding company who owns Curo Studio, Capitec, Zeda, PSG Consult. And then a whole bunch of other businesses too. So what's cool about having PSG in here is that we wouldn't be able to add Capitec because the share price is too high. Ah, good point. Um, so yeah. it's, it's quite nice that you get a bit of exposure to that superstar without actually having yeah. to hold the superstar. Uh, we got Exaro, who's mostly coal minerals. and trying to exit their mineral sands. We got Clix, who owns, ironically, Musica and some other good brands. Uh, we have uh, MultiChoice, who does TV. We got Bidvest, who does things like uh, lots of things around airports. They're industrial. Leg uh, uh, no, clean air. So they do cleaning. They do when you ride on the bus Industrial to the airport. Industrial services company. Yeah. Uh, Goldfields, they try and pull yellow stuff out of the ground. And kill people while they do it. Yeah. Uh, Discovery. No, oh, wait, you skipped Nepi Rock Castle. Oh, Remember my bad. Nepi Rock Castle owns half of Romania. Well, not Romania. They own the shopping centers in the Romania. Uh, we got Discovery. Uh, we got ShopRite. Oh, I'm actually I'm liking this list a lot. So I'm seeing lots of consumer goods and a lot no. of retail. Remgro, who's a holding company, so they got Grinrods in there. They got Mediclinics. They got First Rand, and they got a bunch of unlisted stuff as well. Uh, Nedbank is a is a bunch of bankers. We understand them. Uh, Absa is a bunch of bankers. We understand them. Well, to be fair, nobody's ever really understood a banker. No. MTN uh, and Vodacom, we get what they do. They overcharge us for data. More bankers, Standard mm. Bank. Yeah. And then Richmond, who sold overpriced watches to the Chinese. Wow. What a list. This is beautiful. Um, I think we should, we should add a, a column for sector. Yeah. Like <laughs> yes, who's doing the work here? <laughs> I'm having fun though. I'm just drinking bubbles and watching you do stuff. It's wonderful. What uh, a good day. And I move so far as 42%. That can't be right. <laughs> uh, that can't be right. Hold on. Let me fix that. Uh, move, that can be even less. <laughs> yeah. It's just, we're just oh. getting richer. <laughs> Sorry, no. I, I forgot how to do, uh, do, do, do yeah. uh, minus that. Uh, divide 100 is <laughs> D40 
minus C40 minus C40 as a percentage. <laughs> this number is just getting bigger and bigger. Shall we, so shall we stop amazing. now? We've made 51638500 galinti. That's a negative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not stop. How do we get our D40 minus C40 is the move that we have had. And um, <laughs> isn't it divided by uh, C? Yeah, Is, yeah. Isn't it uh, D40 divided by C40? No, you minus added? to get the difference, and then you divide. Oh, sorry, that's right. And you divide by that there, there and go. there. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Maths. <laughs> we mathed. We mathed and bubbled at the same time. That was a little harder than I thought. <laughs> Hey, I've been bubbling and, and, and sheets onto my thing, <laughs> which is a totally f***ing useless excuse, but it's the best I've got. Hey, so we've got some, some nice moves here already. Yeah, we're already making money. So Standard Bank's already up almost So he, here's the thing. We're 0. 0.81 up, and the market is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. 105. But still. No, the market's beating us. We're not even... Yeah, but I mean, the, this three, is, this is what we were talking about with the outliers, because then you take an outlier right at the bottom, mm -hmm. and you kill it. We're three and a half hours in. Okay, my pricing is 15 minute delayed, so... <laughs> I, uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do benchmark. Uh, benchmark, one. yeah, I'm going to use Satrix 40 as our preferred benchmark. Um, where did Satrix 40 close yesterday? Uh, Satrix 40 yesterday, 49.25, uh, 49.25. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, for me, uh, for my average price, when, uh, when Satrix 40 drops below 50, I'm unhappy. So benchmark is 104. Okay. Can we add, um, can we add industries? Can you... Can you order them by price? Yeah. I can order them any way I want, I guess. Uh, data. Sort by column A, A to Z. No, no I want to... Sort by column D. Yeah, but how do I... So go to column... So how go to D. I? Click on it. Oh, you're going to sort... No, but if I just click on, oh, you, you say, oh. You do, and then you say, oh, wow, include. Google Sheets, eh? I know. And then you say, so, there? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, sort Sheets A to Z. Yeah, and then you say. On delayed price. Yeah, and look what happened. There we go. I lost my little thingy at the bottom. <laughs> uh, no, but there's, wait. Undo. No, we don't want to sort by price. I want to sort by we sorted by oh, so actually in there. we are sorted by market capitalization with the smallest at the bottom sorry the smallest at the top and the biggest at the bottom i think that's how i sorted um pretty sure that's how i sorted yeah but market capitalization is dead have you not heard <laughs> this is its fight back market <coughs> capitalization is not going into that good night slowly <laughs> hey hey we made money we made 0.05 while we were talking I think this is so great. I mean, like if you, which of these shares are you looking at in this index going, I would never, so I know MTN Group, you have a so MTN, kind of a MTN and Vodacom, um, I mean, the, the MTN and Vodacom is the sector I just think is bedorn. It still, the still's really struggling. Liberty, I don't like their businesses. Um, single commodity arm, yeah, I could live with it. Exaro, yeah, I'm going to have to live with it, I suppose. But I mean, there's nothing here that I'm, I'm looking at and I'm going, oh no, my word, there, why on earth would anybody buy this? I mean, Hudeco, but it's up 3.2%, so I'm going to keep <laughs> quiet about that. Um, I mean, Aspen, yeah, no, I mean, th 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 there's nothing here that would, that if you offered this to me as an index, as the fat wallet price weighted index that I could be purchasing, and I was one of those fussy eaters who then wanted to go peep under the under under the skirts i would like mm, okay i mean there's some stuff there that i there's stuff i own there's stuff i watch there's stuff i wouldn't like to own but nothing here is offensive yeah i agree i mm. think this is really lovely it's super simple which i really appreciate uh hang on let me see if i'm doing this did i do it no i didn't do it okay i'm just making it worse i'm gonna okay. walk away now i'm gonna create a shareable link so you can send to peeps yeah, I think this is really, I love the simplicity of this 
So they can. It's not view. a terrible um, selection method, I don't think. No, I, there, there are, there are. I'm sure there are worse. <laughs> they definitely are worse. We've seen worse. Yeah. All right. Cool. We hmm. have a replacement index. Cool, cool. How exciting for us. And uh, for peeps, before you ask, no, we're not going to make a basket or a bundle. Uh, that's it from the Just One Lap team this week. Remember that this is a show about questions. Send yours to ask at justonelap.com. You can also join the Fat Wallet community group on Facebook. Thank you to Aiden and Kay for being our community wizards. My name is Christopher Nieden. Thank you to Simon Brown. We'll catch you next week. Thank you.